but I have a regret. Pray for me. I don't know if I'm 100% honest. Beautiful. Yeah, let's hit the road. Thought I might need some gas, but <laughs> I'm still in the first 50 miles of using this bike. So we're good. Let's go on an adventure. Wee. And then we're now we're automatic. Isn't that cool? We're going to a nature preserve. That's my kind of thing. Nature's different over here than it is where I come from. This is the day where I'm putting in the most unstructured time with it uh, tomorrow as well. One thing I notice is that it's not for tall folks. I feel like I'm kind of at capacity. I've got long legs, I've got like a 30 inch inseam, and I feel like you couldn't be more than like six foot tall and ride comfortably on this bike uh, without doing some big old modifications. And I guess that's, that's part of the appeal because this bike is perfect for someone like me or even smaller, especially if you want to get into this style of bike, but you're just, you don't want to shell out for a Harley. Harleys are heavy, maybe you just don't dig it. But this is just like, I don't know, real comfortable. It's got a really good look and feel. I mean, I have I fell in love with the new Honda Rebels. Obviously, I love my, I was a little beginner on my 250, time of my life, but it just didn't have the power that I needed. I was over that like before a whole season was out because I was borrowing people's bikes and I was like, oh, they can go faster. <laughs> they can go on the freeway. But I do think it was so great to start out on that just because you know, even though I did have riding experience, I did just want to, uh, oh, this is Main Street. Oh my hell, well, everybody. <laughs> I did have some experience dirt biking. It was great to just start out on a lightweight bike, a uh, really forgiving bike. And now they make this gorgeous big boy version, the older Zaddy. <laughs> and I think it is gonna be, I, I don't wanna call it a Harley killer <laughs> because there is still, woo, a place for a Harley, I'm sure. But when it comes to women who want to get into riding and they just don't want a big old boat, maybe they might eventually, but for now they don't, or maybe forever they don't. This is the alternative, if you ask me. I've said it before, I think uh, the Rebel has a gorgeous styling. It's like halfway between the new Rebels, halfway between a Harley and a Ducati, and the footprint's just smaller. The windscreen is, I don't know, if I'm 100% honest, they're a little dorky to me, but I come from a naked bike kind of vibe and I don't come from a touring background. So I can see why obviously these are a very practical uh, piece of the bike. I was talking to some of the other folks on this trip and they said they kind of just wish it was a little bit taller. And I can see that just a little bit more wind deflection. Uh, people put down, like one of the guys in the trip, he's a baby weather for a chase on two wheels and he rode it in from Alabama. So he really put it through the paces. I really dig, I think the seat's pretty comfortable so far. And you do get accustomed to the, the DCT pretty quick. And now I'm worried about when I go home, I'm gonna be brain dead when I first ride the Ducati and I'm like, oh, look at all this work I gotta do. <laughs> I do like shifting, I, I, especially when parking, I feel like I'm reaching for the clutch or like slow speed maneuvers. I'm still kind of, it's like a slightly different finesse on the wrist. It's not too touchy, this is a super chill bike. Yeah, just in the slow speed maneuvers, finessing that, I don't know, the, the flick of the wrist is an adjustment so far. Uh, do I stay in cruise or do I do what everyone else is doing? I kind of want to rip this thing. Obviously, this is not the road for ripping. Sometime during this trip, I'll have to find somewhere where I can go fast, go fast, fast. But right now we're cruising. I'm feeling chill, you're feeling chill. And we're gonna go look at some trees. I know everything's just really user friendly. Uh, it's not complicated to, to switch through some things and toggle. I really like that. But this is incredibly simple for a beginner. And hell, maybe I should put it into like manual. I hope I didn't do something terrible. <laughs> the silence. D. Oh, okay. So now I think. Uh, do I have to. Is this where I shift? Oh, yeah. Oh my God. I'm doing it. Okay. And then you downshift like this because I'm like revenant pretty, <laughs> we're not going that fast. So, um, okay, interesting. So I had a feeling that that was what that did. <laughs> and now we are, yeah, we're in a manual. So they have the little paddle shifters over here. There's one back here for shifting up and this one's for downshifting. And well, what do you know? You can figure that out right in the middle of it. As someone who's never done it before, you just witnessed me do it for the first time. When you got the little D on your screen, that means you're in DCT and it's gonna be shifting for you. So 
I don't have to think too much about it. Wow. Oh, guys, we're by the seaside. It's so beautiful. I just can't believe I'm, well, I can't believe, but I also can't believe that I'm here right now. It's, um, it is a little surreal. The weight of this bike is, is super approachable. I mean, now I'm accustomed to a bigger variety of bikes. This is Broad Ave. That's funny. It's like Broad. It's like a big road. Funny thing about this bike is I, I keep grazing the saddlebags with my boots and I keep wearing down more uh, more rubber. The uh, mounting and dismounting is something to get used to. The bags are mad convenient. I tell you what, you can lock them and you can put your groceries in them. It's been really nice riding without a backpack, especially in this, you know, in this heat. We're just going to keep cruising all the way down to the preserve and I'll show you what that looks like. Oh my god, that's so cute. Ooh, she's hot. But I actually don't feel like hot from the bike at all now that I think about it. So that's great. Yeah, on the Ducati, you can feel the heat. And part of that, I'm sure, is like that I'm not on top of it. So maybe some of that uh, heat can rise up and not bother me. All right, let's explore. I had to wait 15 minutes to start recording because some guy was having a domestic dispute over the phone. But here's me on the Honda Rebel 1100T DCT. I'm in the sand right now <laughs> and I am able to, to pick her up and I'm not, not the gal that picks up cruisers and stuff. Here's me for scale. I'm five foot five and a half. I read taller. I appear taller. I've got a long inseam. And yeah, this is a great size bike for me. Let's scooch to the back. <laughs> scooch to the back. Here's our brakes. Yeah, no reaching at all for me. Everything's very easy. I could probably lean, lean back. Not that much. Okay. <laughs> One thing that takes some getting used to, I'll tell you, is the location of the bags. I mean, obviously they got to be here, but as someone who can just throw a leg over my bike without thinking about it, usually, because there's nothing in my way, I keep grazing these <laughs> and giving them little rubber marks that I have to like buff away. That's an adjustment. Love these bags, especially for a little trip like I'm on. I've got snacks and my whole riding jacket in here. That's partly because my riding jacket is very stuffable because I have a soft jacket for instances like this kind of mesh and reflective on top. And then my other bag has a butt ton of camera equipment and mounts and miscellaneous other things and a shirt and, a, and this hat was in it. So it can carry a lot. Yeah, very comfortable. What more can I say? Here's me on it. Enjoy. And here she is. It starts out in neutral and then you have to tell it to get into its automatic mode. Neutral is the only time you can rev. Well, obviously neutral is the time. Whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> you can't like just hold in the clutch and rev at a stoplight and screw around. You gotta like do it with feeling. So you can override it and do manual. I think I told you guys about that hopefully on the ride over. And we got the paddle shifters up here. Sounds pretty good stock if you ask me. It sounds meaty. So I love that about it. I am impressed with this, with this sound for, for a stock bike. And like handlebar arrangement, like a lot of this is really beautiful right out of the box. I'm just not a windscreen gal, but it makes a lot of sense. So I'd get this naked if I could. Bags make sense for me for long haul trips. You know, I'm torn because <laughs> I would get this to start doing longer trips, go to little moto campouts. You already have all the luggage you need, 
but I think I'd still be, I'd be willing to deal with a little bit of a wind coming my way uh, for a more leaned out front look. So I, I do wonder, I see they have an option with a little bikini fairing and curious about that, or even just like kind of, I don't know if it'd look funny with like naked in front and bags in the back. It's kind of like, <laughs> never mind, don't worry about it. All right, I'm gonna be very careful about putting this back down in the sand. Where's my stick? Well, hopefully it's still down there somewhere. Beautiful. Yeah, careful with the bags. I had been doing a very good job this trip, but I have a regret. <laughs> and this is the second time I have the same regret. And it's that I didn't, I didn't bring any shorts or like swimsuit bottoms. I don't know, cause then I'd be a little bit more comfortable changing in public. But you know, these pants are great for riding, but not for walking around a nature preserve in 80 something degrees. So pray for me. I've got water, but I would also like shorts. So after this little adventure, I put in some great miles with the bike. I was able to take it on the freeway on the route back, but for some reason couldn't push the bike past 99 miles per hour. I later learned that the stock bike is throttled back and can't exceed 100 miles per hour. So that explains that. Regardless, I was having such a nice time cruising that I missed my exit and had to backtrack, but I didn't mind that. The next day I rode the loop with Jess and Bo. It was a beautiful laid back ride surrounded by gorgeous views. We also got a chance to ride the Rebels on the beach, which was super cute. I can't say enough good things about this trip, and while I'm not yet a bagger gal, I did love the contrast between the Rebel 1100T and my 803cc Ducati. Thanks so much for watching, please subscribe if you're new around here, and until next time, ride safe.